Let's get started by writing a basic query. We can open graphical in this endpoint. And as you can see, we have a login screen. So we set up graphical um, using all zero. And whenever I log in, I will be prompted with all zero window where I can sign up for with, uh, let's say, test. You can sign up. And now I get into my graphical ID with authorization token. This is a real world scenario where you have uh, some kind of authorization in mind. In this example, we're using L0, but um, you can use anything that you want. So let's try it, our query. Our query will be user's name. And whenever I hit uh, command enter or click on this button, I will get all users presented here. Basically, what, hap uh, what is happening, um, post request is executed to this endpoint with these um, headers, and um, query is sent as a stringified version of this syntax. The data that you get is, as mentioned in previous, uh, previous sections, it in the same shape as, uh, as your request. Now our our to do is uh, to do up as users to do is information about users that cur are currently online. So what we can do we can get to dos of uh, each user and basically we'll get the title of this to do command enter. You will see that our user will have name bunch of to dos. Now the cool part because um, GraphQL is all about graphs. You can get a user from inside the to do. So basically, you can query any data that you want. Now let's query for online users. Our online users will have last seen user and name. And as you can see, we don't have any online users currently. Now let's query our to-dos. ID and title. We will get the list of all to-dos, but what if we want to limit them by some number? For that we can use limit operator and limit to-dos to 10 to-dos. Alternatively, if I limit it to 2 to-dos, I will have only 2 presented. Now let's do another thing. We can query our users. Let's limit our user by one, get an ID, name, to-dos. And we want to order our to-dos by create a date in descending manner. We also want to limit our to-dos to five latest to-dos and present an ID and title. As you can see here, everything is executed, and we have multiple arguments here, as well as here. Uh, one argument here and multiple arguments here. This is cool, but still we have a problem. We want to pass these values dynamically, right? So um, we want to pass. We want to pass these values dynamically. So what we can do? we can provide a variable type integer and now instead of having one here we will limit our to do's by this variable this is users let's change it to to do's now what we need to do we need to provide our limit to be let's say 10. If we run that, we'll have only 10 to do's or one, whatever variable you pass. 